me how that one's working because when that one is okay it's normally open so it normally open means there's no flow through correct between the p and the c but the de-energized shows that that is the direction of the flow when it's de-energized right you're confusing me now the the way that i'm looking at it is i, I have a better t easier time looking at this other set where you're saying it's normally closed. That's its its normal state. Right. So it's going to, in an energized state, it's going to be passing from your pressure, pressure to your to cylinder. Yeah, to the cylinder. Whereas when it's in a de-energized state, it's going to be passing from your cylinder back to your exhaust. To your exhaust. Yes. Okay. So, what's what are you hung up on? I think what hung, I think the normally open aspect of it hangs me up. Because when it's normally open, that means that when it's actuated, it's closed. Right? <laughs> What's open mean for a valve? Open for a valve means that you have flow. Okay. So normally open would mean you have flow when? When it's off. That's de -energized. When it's de-energized. And does that match? De-energized, you have flow. Yeah. Okay, yes it does. Okay. I was just getting myself turned around. Yeah, and it's so easy to do because open for a valve means the opposite is open for a switch. Right. If it was a normally open switch, you'd think, okay, when it's at rest, no power, no flow. But it's a normally, normally open valve, so when it's at rest, you do have flow. Because open means a different thing for a valve than it does for a switch. Terribly confusing. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. There's so many layers of, of meaning for these words here, opposite meaning, that's really tends to be quite confusing. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay, well then. Alright, so to get that through my head. Okay, normally open. Normally open means that without stimulus, that valve is open here to flow. Yeah. Okay, so then our pressure would be common with our cylinder and pressure would be at our cylinder. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the three went normally open. So that way when it de energizes, it's now in its open state, which means. Right, that's, just, that's the exact same I just said. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so when it's closed. That means that there's no pressure to our cylinder. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So walk me through this one right here, what you see right there at the other symbol. Okay, with this one, this is a normally closed. So that means in its normal state, there's no flow through the pipe. So that means that the cylinder just vents. Right. And that's the de-energized state, as depicted by the D and the arrow going from the cylinder to the exhaust. Now when it's open, which is not its normal state when it's open, you do, it's energized, and you do have flow from your pressure side to your cylinder, energizing yep. the cylinder, the, the solenoid. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, the, one, way that, one way that makes it almost easier for me is draw the arrows first and say, yeah. okay, yeah, one exactly. of these has to be one, one of them has to be the other, <laughs> That's a which, great which makes sense. That's a great strategy. I you know, put down what you know, sketch the arrows first, so right. you're not having to translate the words in your head. What does normal mean? And just, okay, the air goes there, or air mm -hmm. goes there. Yep. And I, I'm with you. I tend to find those designations easier to understand, where there's an E for energize and a D for de energize. Mm -hmm. You will, though, often see this. So just show one of those states and have you fill in the blank for the other. Previous page. Previous page? Yeah, okay. right there. So notice here, they only show us the de energized state. Mm -hmm. Or they may only show us the energized state and just let you figure out the other one. I don't like that as much because it's a little bit more ambiguous, uh, especially if you don't have the P, E, and C labels. Yeah, you don't know if it's the pressure is venting yeah, or if the cylinder is yeah, venting. Yeah, exactly. You just have to tell by context. But I found that to be typically more common in PNIDs than to show both ways, like you see right here. To be honest, I don't know if in the PNIDs that I've seen, I don't know if I can recall ever seeing on a solenoid drawn this way uh -huh. the P, E, and C. I don't know if I've ever seen those. Typically you don't. Yeah. There'll be labels on the valve, but typically not drawn in the PNID itself. Yeah, okay. No, I have a, a, I came up with this just for my own head, and I don't know if this works, but looking at uh, the three-way solenoid valves 
as drawn, your single port side is always going to be your cylinder, correct? That's the common port for that's, a two-way, exactly. Right. exactly. That's, so that's, and that's yes. always going to be, as a numbered system, it's always going to be one. Yes. And as drawn, one is always going to connect to three. Yeah. So you're always, it's always going to be showing, that's your it's going to add up to four. Port. Yeah. yeah. And so it's that, going to add up to four. It's going to add up to four, so that way you know that depending on whether they tell you whether it's a normally closed or normally open, that then can tell you whether or not your, your two pin is going to be your uh, pressure or your exhaust. Yeah. Just a way of working backwards. Yeah. It's just yeah. a numerical number. If it's odd, that yeah. it's the other one. If it's it's always going to add up to an even number. But you're right. It's it, we got these conflicting conventions P, E, and C, which always stay with the port, or one, two, and three, depending on the energization state. Uh, or sorry, d depending on the normally open or normally closed. So many conflicting standards for how to describe what's going on with these valves. Way more confusing than it has to be. Yeah. It's just kind of sad. But that's what we deal with. That's why they pay us the big bucks. <laughs>